Hello Carpologists, I'm Luke and today we are looking at a brand new head torch from a company called Phoenix. Now we don't normally do reviews in the dark but I thought for a head torch it's probably a good option to do that. Now if you see me squinting a lot through this video it's because the whole video is being filmed with the power of the head torch itself. So we've got a couple here, obviously I've got one on my head, I'm going to show you a little bit more about it, we're going to go into more detail about all the different specs but like I say we are actually using just one head torch to film this whole video. So a little bit later we will go into the ins and outs of how these head torches are so bright and how they work and a little bit more about it but for now let's see how they actually work in the field so i'm going to use joe my glamorous assistant to actually show how powerful these head torches can be and we're going to do a bit of a side side by side comparison with another leading brand's head torch so the nice thing about phoenix is you might not have heard of them but they they make solely different torches, LED lights, things like that. So instead of a tackle company that makes a whole load of different products, these specialise just on torches. So you know you're going to be getting exactly what you want from a head torch. So let's forget all that for now and let's see just how they actually perform. Okay, so you probably can't see me because it's pitch black. Um, however, I am going to be the one obviously controlling the, the lights. So the first torch that I'm going to use is one of the most popular on the market at the moment, fully rechargeable head torch, and it has a power of up to 200 lumens. So first up, if I just turn it on and then go to the spot mode, which is the most powerful, you might just be able to make out Joe, which is standing about 30 meters away from me just about waving, not sure if you can see that or not. Right, so if I switch this one off, just like that, and then I go on to the Phoenix head torch. Now the first setting that comes on is 50 lumens. So obviously it's not quite as bright as what the, the first head torch was that I showed you, but this is the eco setting and it lasts for up to 40 hours runtime. Now there's five different settings. Obviously the intensity increases as you go through the different settings. So if I just cycle through now, so you've got the 50 lumens, which is the eco mode, go into second mode, third, fourth, and then the fifth. So you can see how powerful that is. And this is actually 1200 lumens. So in comparison, obviously it's a hell of a lot brighter than, than what one of the leading head torches on the market is. And you can probably make out Joe really well. Might, yeah, there we go, we get another wave from him as well. So like I say, it's actually 50, uh, 30 meters away and he's that bright. So with the 1200 lumen setting it actually lasts for up to two hours runtime on a fully charged battery so you get loads of runtime on the most powerful light and given a clear kind of field of view this actually goes for 168 meters so it gives you loads of scope if you're casting obviously quite a distance and you want to make sure that your rig's going right on the spot if you're casting quite tight to an island overnight then you're going to get the clarity of or the, the vision from this head torch. So it's a really bright, powerful head torch. So you've got five white settings and there's also four red settings as well. So if I show you them now, you've got one, two, three, four. So again, a really powerful red beam on it. So it is one of the most powerful, probably the most powerful head torch actually on the market today. So again, just for a very quick comparison, if I turn on what is one of the leading head torches in the market. You can just about see Joe. If I flip around and swap head torches, you can just see the difference there. So that's the difference of 1200 lumens as opposed to 200. So if you like this sort of video, make sure you obviously like it, subscribe to us on YouTube and hit the little bell icon as well, because that way you get notifications come up and you won't miss any videos. Obviously we're on all sorts of social media platforms as well. So make sure to check out our Facebook page, our Instagram account, things like that. And then you get loads of regular content as well. So if we take this comparison one step further, I've now moved the camera into more of a actual fishing situation. So just in front of me, you've got a nice snaggy margin and the trees opposite are about 25, 30 yards. So again, to give it some sort of context, if you're fishing at night and you're trying to drop it in close to the edge, obviously you want as much light as possible to be able to actually hit that spot accurately so if we go back to the first head torch which like i said before is one of the leading ones on the market you can see there 
the kind of beam that you get from it and, and how much, how bright it actually is. So turning this off and swapping back to the Phoenix head torch, again, you can see how much of a difference it really makes. So you can see it just lights up the whole swim. So it's quite a nice wide beam. So you can actually see around it. If, if the cast goes slightly out of the, the narrow beam, you can see exactly where it's landed or where it's heading. So it just gives you a lot more scope to make sure you get everything bang on and in turn it could it could potentially lead to more fish on the bank. Okay so moving on from the main beam as I touched upon earlier this does actually have a red beam as well and there's loads of different head torches available on the the Phoenix website however this one's actually been designed for the UK market so like I say it has the red beam it fits in with fishing camping it can be used for all sorts of things so obviously you're not always going to be wanting to use the bright white main beam so by having the red beam it gives other options if you're playing fish or if you're just doing bits and pieces in your bivvy then it makes it a lot easier rather than that really intense white light which you don't always need so if I just get Joe to turn off the head torch that he's using there we go and then I can show you the red beam in a bit more detail so this is on the lowest setting I think I mentioned previously there's actually four different settings of the red beam so this is the lowest one and you've got second, third and fourth so it can be a really bright red light if you need it but also it can be nice and dim as well so like I say if you're just making a cup of tea, cup of coffee, something like that you don't want to be lighting up everything in your bivvy so you just need the essentials but again like I said it's really nice to have that option of the, the red beam and at various settings as well. So like I mentioned earlier, this is actually a model that's made for the UK market. And this is the HM65R Shadow Master. So if you are looking for a head torch, which has got the two different color beams, then make sure it is the Shadow Master that you go for. Now talking about the two beams, it's nice and easy to change from one, one beam to the next. So instead of a lot of head torches out there where you've got to try and cycle through going from white to red and different colors, with this, you have got a button for each color. Nice and simple to use if you want your white beam it's the right hand button you simply hold it down and then you can cycle through your different whites if you want the red beam then it's simply the left hand button so like i say even if it's on your head and you can't see what you're doing it's nice and easy to know exactly what button does what now going further into this it's actually fully waterproof as well so it's got a ip68 rating which basically means if you drop it into the edge it will be fine down to two meters for up to 30 minutes so you haven't got to worry not all is lost if you do drop it in the edge fully waterproof like i say and you've got seals on the battery unit as well now that brings us nicely onto the re rechargeable aspects of this head torch so a lot of head torches out there obviously you've got to plug them in recharge the battery which is all fixed into it with this one it simply unscrews and it's actually got a battery inside that can come out so you can buy spares you can buy replacements you can buy separate chargers as well and then that way you can keep spare batteries you haven't got to worry that if you run out then you can't do anything until the battery's charged you can keep spares which is a really nice feature the other nice thing about it as well is it's shock resistant so if you do drop it occasionally then you haven't got to worry it's been tested to two meters that doesn't mean throw it around or anything like that but it does mean if it has the occasional drop and it is nice and hard wearing and this is thanks to the magnesium alloy body as well so another nice feature that's been put into the shadow master is the improved circuit design that they've got um, basically this means that the power output doesn't actually drop even though the battery level is dropping so if you choose to use the highest output level of 1200 lumens then even if the even if the battery is really low it will continue to give that power so yes it might mean that the battery can possibly run out quicker but it puts you in complete control of the head torch. So if you need that stronger beam, it's gonna be a strong beam right to the end. And to be honest, we've been really impressed with the battery life of these head torches. The one that's shining right in my face here, we actually forgot to charge before bringing it to the lake, put it on charge on one of the power packs for about 20 minutes, and it's allowed us to film the whole review. So really impressed, especially in this cold weather as well. I mean, it's, it's dropping down below freezing tonight. It's probably around zero degrees at the moment. So to be that consistent and to give that kind of output over over the course of the last couple of hours that we've been doing this review is really really impressive so one other point actually with the improved circuits is you can see here if i turn that on you've got just that little blue led which flashes up and that is basically your battery level so it's there's four different blue leds so it gives you a nice gauge so you know how much power you've got left in the head torch so if you do need to charge it if you do need to swap a battery over if you plan on doing a bit of baiting up overnight and you want to see see where you are if you've only got the one bar 
obviously it's worth putting it on charge or swapping a, a new battery into it as well so it's nice to have that indication so the other thing with this obviously you've got fully adjustable straps and that's both top and sides as well so it doesn't matter what size head you've got if you've got a, a load of hair like curly then it will even fit over a massive head like that which is really impressive big head you've got a lot of hair well you've got quite a large head as well so carrying on from that you've also got full adjustability on the actual head of the of the head torch so you can angle it exactly where you want it to be angled and then that means even if you are chatting to someone as well you don't have to be blinding them with it right in their face you can angle it straight down and then it's, it's not too intrusive so overall loads of really good points and like i say we've been really impressed not only with the battery life with the the power output from it the actual build of it as well being the magnesium alloy and it, overall it is just a really well refined head torch now you can get these direct from the phoenix website so you just got to go on online search phoenix head torches and it'll come straight up along with their other models as well and these are available for 99.99 so well worth checking out if you want any more information check out the phoenix website as well but for now thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon